I'm frequently asked, how do I get the color of my digital images better? That's very important, not only for patient communication, but also for laboratory communication. This segment is about color calibration, or how do you improve that or get it more accurate. Years ago, when we used to buy film, and for those first year dental students, that's a little piece of plastic film that used to go into the cameras that we don't have now. Uh, but when we had film, it was marked as daylight. And when we were outside and took pictures in the daylight, it was fine. It was good color. When we brought the cameras in and used our flash, again, the color was just right because the flash matched the color of the te color temperature of what was outside. But when we turned the flash off, depending on what light was on, it would be an odd color, sometimes orange or whatever it might be because of the incandescent light. Now, color is made up of red, green, and blue. And if you put those all together, as odd as this sounds, it actually turns out to be white, or our eyes perceive it as white. But oftentimes when we have our cameras in different situations, the color around it really makes a difference. For example, the video camera that we have going right now is on automatic white balance. And we know that the color is a little bit off. So let us show you through the different settings of the video camera how the color changes. Now this is the picture under automatic white balance. Now this is daylight setting. This is shadow. This is the cloudy setting. This is going to be tungsten. This is for shooting under fluorescent lights. This is the camera's current white balance setting. And you use a white piece of paper or a gray card. So let's see how that changes things. Now look at the difference in the gray. And the picture is now color calibrated. Now this is the picture under automatic white balance. And the picture is now color calibrated. Now this is the picture under automatic white balance. Now most manufacturers recommend using a white piece of paper. And notice also a strange phenomena that my face gets darker when I have the white piece of paper here and then lighter when I remove it. We're going to cover that in another video. But what we recommend is using a Kodak gray card that you can buy on the internet or a good camera store. And notice when I take it up and down that my brightness doesn't change. Hmm. But we do recommend using a Kodak gray card because your picture will be warmer and a little more accurate. And we're going to color calibrate a couple of cameras. This is the Canon G-Series camera and the Canon 50D. Now we're going to use the onboard flash. It's not set up for dental, but the process will be the same and that's okay. We're going to start with a G-Series camera. And as you can see, we have the gray card sitting here on my desk. But what you're going to do is you're going to have either a white piece of paper or the gray card and you're going to go into your operatory and put it on your dental chair. For this Model G series camera, the instructions say to first push the function set button. And now I'm going to scroll over until it says menu evaluate white balance. And the menu means push the menu button and when you do a flash goes off and now your camera is calibrated. Now with the 50D I'm actually going to take a picture of the gray card. Now with the 50D camera we're going to push the menu button then scroll over to where the white balance is, custom white balance. You push function set and you have the picture you took of the gray card. 
and push function set again. Scroll over to OK. And then one more time, push function set. And your camera is calibrated. As you can see how important it is to get your images more accurate. My name is Dennis Bronston with Dental Learning Centers. Feel free to give us a call.